I kind of think that the heist heist is what seems like everybody wants to do not all the time, but a lot. And I think, you know, this is another, another thing I, I, I will, uh, let's leave follow follow convoy. Cause it's not anything particular about the convoy, but I find with the heist, it's a very interesting, should I call it a phenomenon about heists? Is it, I always read it like the, the, the GM wants to run a heist and this is pink lemonade again, Spinger for the working man. GMs, I always see from GMs, I want to run heists. I always wonder, do the players want to run a heist? Because it really, to me, whether it's a burglary, a heist, an all-out assault or something else, to me, I, is a totally player-led, PC-led decision. you got to get something out of this vault, bank, house, manor, whatever it is. You decide how to do it. A heist is a very kind of a very specific approach to that problem, but it's not the only approach to the problem. And I don't, and I, I guess part of me doesn't understand why it be, it becomes a GM led decision, at least in terms of what I see and Reddit and other places with, with GMs asking about it, where it's like they want to run the heist. And so they're going to kind of put it on the players to run the heist. And I just would never run it that way. Even in the case of where I see where someone says, well, the employer wants them to go steal this, to, to get this gem that's in this spot. Great. Uh, at that point, it's still up to the players. Well, how are you going to, are you going to do that? There are probably many ways to get that gem out of there. You could just say, you know, we're kicking down the front door. We're going to bring in our magical flamethrowers. We're going to burn the place down. And since gems are usually hard and they won't burn, we'll then come through afterwards and sift through the ashes that we leave behind us and grab the gem. Great. And sure, I could probably put enough roadblocks saying like, we, you can't burn the place down. You can't do these things. You can't, you can't be seen. You can't be known. You can't be anything, but I need the gem to kind of push them into doing it in a specific way. But I just, I don't get it. I mean, and I don't, I, I love heists, but I just don't understand as a GM. I just, I, I guess, or maybe I should say I, as a GM, do not feel the need to say, all right, I'm going to run a heist. Like, I'm just going to put the situation out there and I'm happy which whatever, whichever way they want to, uh, they want to tackle it. And it always reminds me, I guess, of in video games, when you come across the driving mission or some other mission that, you know, has just been shoehorned in there since they feel like, oh, yeah, we got to have a driving mission. So regardless of what kind of game you're playing, suddenly there's a vehicle and you have to get in it and do something sometimes completely different than everything else you're doing in the game. And you just think, why, why am I, why am I doing this? Because they want, you know, they, they wanted to for some reason. And I, and I, I, I don't know. I've never been in a game where I feel like I've been pushed into doing a heist when we didn't want to. But I almost wonder, is, is that what it feels like to the players in those games wh where they just find that circumstances are pushing them to do this specific trope of gameplay that they didn't really ask for, but it's just being kind of pushed on them because the GM behind the scenes wants to run one? I don't know. Oh, Brian Smith, says, I think it's often the players getting amped up and they're like, yeah, it'll be a sweet heist. And the GM is on Reddit asking how to do it the next day. Well, that's definitely a possibility. I mean, the other thing is, what do you really, you know, and maybe this is where I think that people get too caught up in, in, in trying to do a cinematic experience, because what do you really need to do for a heist that you don't need to do or do need to do differently than you would to do if it was just, here's a house. Let me give an example as I'm scrolling through here. If, if I said to the party or to my party, let's say you guys got to go, there's a manor. Lord, he's got his ducal signet ring. He's a duke. This is ducal manor. He's got the duke signet ring. I need it. You got to get it back. He's got it around his neck all day long. We can't just gank him for it. The only time they take it off is when he goes to sleep. And I know because for whatever information, or maybe I don't know where he keeps it. And so you got to go get it. You got to figure out where it is and get it. I imagine that given that, given those circumstances as a GM, I can kind of think about it. Well, what, what what's going on? So who knows where this thing is? Certainly where the where the ducal ring is. I would bet that if he's got a butler or maid, some kind of servant, they would know. At least the ones that deal with them him personally, his personal, his man or woman would know where it is. Certainly the duke would know. I know, and it's a it's a manor house, so it's going to have twenty four hour guards and whatever. And so I got to figure that stuff out. These are the same kind of things I would do for a heist. 
because people will love to point out, well, in movies and in TV shows and things, here's what you do. You have the information gathering phase, then you kind of have the, the the planning phase, then you have the go time phase, and of course everything goes wrong. Great. But from my GM's perspective, I'm gonna I'm gonna have information about it anyway. And then the party's gonna either find the information out or not. Then the party's either gonna make their planning or not, and then they're gonna have go time. I mean, I don't need to what is this specific thing I need to do for a heist that I wouldn't need to do if it was just, if I didn't understand, if I had no clue of what a heist was and I was just running it like, yeah, you got to get it out of this place. What changes exactly? You know, I don't know. And maybe it's just because we call it a heist and there's a, there's a, a trope about that. There's a, a, a thing that we feel like we need to do special. And it's like, you don't need to do anything special. It's a house with guards, people moving around in it. Set it up like you would if they were just if, if they were just running and gunning from the door and then do it. If they're trying to be sneaky, that kind of heist, or they're trying to use trickery and that kind of heist, it's the same. It, you don't need anything, at least in my mind, anything specific or, you know, or so I say. P. Giant says, provide the situation and sit back and watch what the players come up with. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's the same for a heist if it was not a heist. But somehow people inject that term almost. It's like, I've decided to call this thing a heist. And so now I'm running into, or I feel like I'm, I need, or I want all kinds of special things because I'm calling it a heist. It's, it's just a type of robbery. It's, that's all it is because we, you know, and this is where I think that when you start bringing in all these literary stuff, bring all the cinematic stuff, it's, it's just adding a bunch of frippery, Frippery? I don't know. I was trying to think of a clever word. That's not the one I want. It just fuss to essentially a situation that's no different than any other situation. Brian Smith says, uh, the heist is just a specific flavor of the encounter. Definitely brings along tropes, though. Yes, it does. But what I guess what I'm saying is a lot of stuff will just happen naturally. I imagine, or this is my imagining. I imagine if, if you're a party and it's, you're more or less given open... And, and maybe the problem is that I'm looking at it... This might be the problem, or th maybe this is my thing with it. I'm looking at things is that I'm giving essentially open-ended open -ended situations to the party. There is a house. I need you to get something out of the house. Go. And then me as the players, or if I then switch places and now I'm thinking as a player, then we, gather, we, we huddle up and you say, what do we need to do? And we start thinking about the things we would think about if we were going to rob a place. Case, case the joint. Get the info. Maybe we can bribe somebody on the inside. Uh, maybe we want to you know, depending on the setting, maybe we can get plans for the, uh, when the place was built, or is there sewers underneath, all the kind of things that, and, and when I am, as a player, I am pulling from heist movies, I'm pulling from other kinds of movies I've seen, I'm playing, maybe we can trick our, trick our way in, get some papers, get an introduction, get something, we're pulling all the stuff in and doing it, and then we'll figure out these things and lay it out. But there's a lot of parties that don't get that kind of, aren't given that sort of latitude, right? They're, they they are in a situation in which, and I'm not saying it's good or bad, it's just the style of game they're playing, where they are given a much more linear situation that's presented to them, and that when you get to the heist part, by the nature of the heist, the GM wants to give the players that latitude that they don't normally have, and now they have to figure out how to get them in that mode. Whereas I'm coming from where I'm looking at it mostly like they're in that mode all the time. So the heist is no different than anything else. Do it however you feel like you can do it or don't do it if you don't want to. But maybe if you're coming at it like, well, normally we're much more plotted and linear and, and, and their employer, whoever I'm, whatever meta tools I'm using are being very specific to how I want them to do it. But if it's a heist, part of that is the players being a lot more independent and doing all that stuff. And they're not normally. So now I, I want to come up with tools to get them to do these things that I don't give them the latitude to have, maybe by agreement. Again, I'm not trying to say it's good or bad, that just by mutual agreement of the table, they usually don't have to worry about such things. In this specific instance, they do. How do I get them to make that jump? Maybe that's it. Ryan Smith says they agree. A DM might only need to know what types of things to prep for a heist. The designer of the heist procedure may be presenting rules that aren't loose enough. Potentially. Next.